Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. If you like these videos, be sure to subscribe down below and like this video. We'd really appreciate that. So it's like a thousand degrees in Texas today. It's too hot to be outside working on the games, but I thought I could put together a quick video to talk about something that I know when I first got into the hobby was a little bit confusing to me and I've heard people posting about it on Pinside or on Facebook and that is tilt switches. You've got tilt switches, you've got anti-cheat switches, uh, or bounce switches. Bounce and anti-cheat are kind of the same thing, but I wanted to talk about where those switches are and the differences between them in a Gottlieb EM pinball machine. Now, the, the game I'm gonna show today is a mid-70s game, and I know on some of the earlier games, the switches were slightly different, but the concepts are the same, and this should apply to most of the Gottlieb, Gottlieb games that you'd be working on. So let's head outside and take a look. All right, so we're gonna open up the door here on this Gottlieb Jacks Open. This is the, the game. If you watched episode two, you may be familiar with it. We did a game review. And I wanna use it today to talk a little bit about these cheat and anti, uh, or sorry, anti-cheat uh, slam and tilt switches. So you see inside the door here is the first one. And, and the way to think about it is a tilt switch is normally open. Uh, a, a slam switch or an anti-cheat switch is normally closed. So this is, and, and you can use those, those latter two terms uh, interdependently, so, uh, or interchangeably. So this is, we're gonna call it a slam switch. It's inside the door, it's normally closed, and it is the first of six switches on these mid-70s Gottlieb games. And so uh, you can see here there's a little weight, and if someone was to kick the door really hard, it would be enough to move that weight, that pendulum, and open this switch and cut power to the to the game and it would end in this case it would actually end the game so that's the first of six now one thing i want to point out is this is a kind of a late 70s game it's 1977 the start button is up here and this switch uh here's the switch for the start button the uh, anti-cheat switch or the slam switch is down here on the mid 70s games they're all in the same switch stack it would be located kind of here in the middle of the door on a smaller door and the start button and the, uh, the, the anti-cheat switch would all be in one stack. All right, so that's the first one. Let's go on now to the next switch. Next, we're down here on the inside of the game in the bottom of the cabinet, and you can see back here there is another anti-cheat switch, also normally closed, and there's a weight that's suspended over this hole here, and same concept. If someone was to drop the game or pick it up and slam it back down, this would push open. It would open that switch, and it would cut off power to the game and end the game that the player was playing. So that's number two of six on this game. Okay, so those, next we're gonna look on the inside left wall of the cabinet. And these are two tilt switches that probably are the most familiar to most uh, pinball hobbyists because they're the most obvious too. So the first is uh, part of this mechanism. So you see here there's a rod that comes down and there's a weight at the bottom and it hangs through this metal ring right here. And so if the game gets bumped too hard by the player, maybe you're nudging it while you're playing it or you just bump the cabinet, uh, and this swings and touches that metal ring, it completes the circuit through these wires and would end the game. The other one is right above it, and you'll see there's this, this pinball, extra pinball that is in here. It's basically a weight that will roll, and if the game were to be picked up, this would roll all the way down and it would close this switch right here, and the same thing would happen, it would tilt the game and it would end the game. Okay, so now we're underneath the play field and here is the fifth anti-cheat or tilt switch on the game. This is a tilt switch under the play field. It's like kind of a, a vibration switch, if you will. Uh, normally, this probably from the factory was closer to like that. I bend them way open, so there's almost no chance of them going off, but you can see how it would work if the game uh, was to be vibrated hard enough or shaken on its side uh, sideways enough, it would close this switch. Same thing, tilt the game and end the game. Okay, and then sixth and finally is inside the head. I've got the backboard open on this game, and you can see right here on this front edge, there is a switch right here. And this is also an anti-cheat switch. This one's uh, normally closed, and same thing, vibrates open and the game would end. So it's just a good thing to know where these are on your games, especially when you first get one. Uh, if you're having an issue with it starting up, uh, there's always a chance that one of these switches is misadjusted. Now one last thing I wanted to point out, this Gottlieb game has sort of what I would consider to be the more traditional credit wheel inside the head. Um, Gottlieb, for a period of a couple of years, went to a Crescent credit unit 
And uh, so like on a game like Quick Draw or Fast Draw, for example, uh, or a game like uh, Spin Out, those games and, and, and others obviously had those Crescent credit units. And my understanding is that those units also have a tilt switch on them. That actually was, was something new that I learned just recently. I have not noticed that before. I've never had to, to mess with one uh, on those credit units other than just, you know, closing the, the free credit switch on those units. So, uh, if you have a game that has the older or not the older, but the, the other type of credit unit, the half crescent, you might want to look and see if, if your game for some reason is not starting, you're not getting power. That also could be a place to look. All right, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you learned a little bit more about tilt and anti-cheat or slam switches. Uh, if you have questions, post them in the comment section below. And uh, we'll just like your comments in general on these videos and any topics that you'd like to see in the future. And so until next time, this is the Gottlieb guy saying thanks for watching.